undercooked lamb and edible shallot butter sauce on the lack of cohesion. Ah! Read him in the description of his dish. What's up girls and gay boys? How you doing? Hopefully everyone's been doing fine. I've been meaning to be back for so long, but you know, what can I say? I'm a cancer and we procrastinate. <laughs> I just put out body, body, body. So hopefully you guys are watching that and enjoying that. But today we're gonna be watching the menu. I have been avoiding spoilers for the menu for a while. My favorite podcast talked about it and I didn't listen to the episode. I didn't watch anybody else reaction videos to it. I wanted to just go into it blind. I did that with Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Didn't enjoy the ending of that movie, but the ride overall was pretty fun. But today we're gonna see what the menu is giving, honey. What is she serving? Cause you know, the doll loves a little bit of nourishment. You know, I'm a Southern Belle, honey. We like a little bit of yams, greens, beans, potatoes, and yams, yams, oh. So, I got my wine. And without further ado, let's watch the film. Please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. And my palate will die happy. Oh, God. Tonight is huge, okay? The flavor profile is I love so him. I can't think of his name. You're smoking, ruin your ability to be able to appreciate him. Please. Oh, he's gonna be a stick in the mud, girl. I would say stop smoking too, but because of the wrinkles, girl. 12 customers total. And nice? What are they trying to profit? 12.50 a head, that's how. That's fucking kidding, right? What are we eating, the robots? Go with the fun. Let it be magical. Okay. It's your dime. Who are you? Maybe you're the three man cake. It's not even a five dinner. What a good time. Great. Power tasting. They'll be wasted by the end of this. Mm -hmm. Do you know him? Oh. Holy fucking shit. William Bloom. Oh my god. And his living in bush just look so great. She is fabulous, huh? Okay. Do you see the shade, baby? Yeah. Why? In a vast me heart, is it hope she see you worthy, eh? Yes, sir. Both. John Lang was our mom. I'm I love an oyster, but I don't know about that one. Alginate. Alginate as in, um... As an algae. Right, yeah. Pond scum. Delicious. <laughs> I definitely pond scum, girl. It's actually fucking laughably good. Pond mm -hmm. scum. I think they like it. Like it's you. the balance of the products. You need the mouth feel of the mini net. Please don't say mouthful. Too late. Mouthfeel. <laughs> Jesus, this is like prom. Yeah, I never went to prom. She's trying to keep her cool around these rich ass people. Welcome to Hogwarts, Mr. Lefford and Miss Westerfeld. Sorry, yeah, no, that was a bit something, but it changed the plan, so Miss Westerfeld can dismiss. I'm Marco. Bitch, I don't even know your name. Ain't he booked a date for another bitch? Marco. Mm. Welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Bitch, I don't trust her or this bang that she got. No. I'm so sorry. That was really awkward. I'm sorry. That was not. No, no. I'm... Don't worry about it. Yeah, bitch, worry about it. It's, it's... No bueno, no, I mean. My esteemed guests can continue their conversation this way. Thank you. Please follow me. Bitch, she is so intense, girl. You ain't got to do all that to leave the door. I love the scallops, honey. Seafood, anything. I am there. Do you like the sense of the famous one? Biome of culinary and I want her shade. No, I like mine. They're better. amazing. Fun. How do you even find out about some shit like this? Like, this is the booziest shit I've ever seen. Serve it on the 153rd day. Does all hell break loose? Or... Well, I suppose. 
decompose, the bacteria would introduce itself to the consumer's bloodstream and spread into their spinal membranes, after which point he or she would become incapacitated and shortly thereafter expire. Damn, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Wait, but they are easy, you know what I'm This is where we live. All of us. Except Chef. Bitch, he's prison caught Shaolin now, honey. No, man. Here we are that family. wouldn't do. We harvest. We ferment. We slaughter. We marinate. We liquefy. We spherify. We gel. We gel. Don't say that stuff, but goddamn, the bitch cut me out. We gel, bitch. I can't get it. Burned out? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Chef holds itself to the highest standard, and so do we. We never burn anything unless by design. To make delicious. This Who's hungry? This is the most intense tour guide I've ever seen in my life. Like, bitch, I'm scared to say something, and bitch, I'm not even there with her. Uh, who lives there? Chef. Can we see that? Even we are not allowed inside Chef's cottage. Hmm. I bet you we gonna be in there by the end of this movie, bitch. Now, bitch, I don't even like to go to bougie ass restaurants like this because they give you a small ass portion for a lot, a lot of money, honey. Mm. And most of them be gourmet, you know. I'm, I'm hungry. I don't know. Feel free to observe the cooks as they innovate. But please do not photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels <laughs> Put that phone that up. Is yeah, yeah. Here, come on, we can't miss this. Do you make that with a Paco jet? Exactly right, sir. You know, a Paco jet can produce a powderized uh, snow like texture. I mean, is he trying to put on to show how much he knows? Or... And Chef, is he around here somewhere? I'd Why don't you take him. your seat? Oh, this staff is nice, nasty to the max, honey. Yeah, I noticed you didn't ask his name. Yeah, well, you know. There he is. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Oh, the chef. Bitch, you got a bone for the chef. Like, God damn. Oh. Look at me. Is he looking at me? No, I think he's looking at her. Like, girl, what is cucumber this bird food? No, no, no. I don't even like cucumber. A cucumber melon? No, I don't like that. And how much did I pay to get in this bitch? Can you taste a little goat? It's right at the end. Look at the I don't know. Rich people palates be a little different, honey. I don't know. Would you like to say thank you for the last two years? This opportunity has been. Didn't they tell you not to take no damn bitch? She can get your ass. It's just like Oh my god. Oh. Here's my uh, phone. Here's the production company. Credit card. Not Here is the key to your sanity. Your apartment in New York. And your other apartment in New York. New York doesn't know about it. Amanda. Me and Amanda are not good. It's not good. You're your fault. No, it was her fault. She made me text her co-worker. Yeah. yeah of course it's my fault, bro. Of course. You're a man. So it's, uh, it's okay. But I'm not as into this as you are. It's not that good, bitch. So, yeah, it's like. Right. So, what is it with this food thing? I don't know. It's like, you know how people idolize, you know, athletes and musicians and painters and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are idiots. What they do, it doesn't matter. They play with inflatable balls and ukuleles and shit. Chefs, they play with the raw materials of life itself and death itself. I've watched him explain the exact moment the green strawberry is perfectly unripe. I've watched him played a raw scallop during its last dying contraction. The muscle, it's art on the edge of the abyss, which is where God works, too. It's the same. That was beautifully put, Tyler. The no, girl, I'm he needs to Get chill you. about the food. It's sounding like a fetish. Are you fetishizing the cucumber millet, sir? <laughs> Shit, bitch. I mean, this is some fancy ass shit with a little bit of damn food. And I am a big girl. I'm pissed. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. What did do shit? Hello. I'm Julian Sloat, and tonight will be our pleasure to feed you. 
you will ingest fat, salt, sugar, protein, bacteria, fungi, various plants and animals, and at times entire ecosystems. Be sure don't sound appetizing. I'm not hungry. Just pass the vodka. Eat. Taste. Savor. Relish. Be mindful. Do not eat. Our menu is too precious for them. Accept all of it. And forgive. I just saw this bitch in American so, Horror Story. They turned that whole into a pee. Spoiler alert. Our first course is called the Island. On your plate, the plants from around the island placed on rocks from the shore, covered in barely frozen, filtered seawater, which will flavor the dish as it melts. That's a fantastic one. Sorry. Um, sorry, Chef. Be sure to know what's happening in the tail. It's very safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside, in nature, in the soil, in the water. Yeah. Girl, all these metaphors and any windows for Jenna, honey. Girl, can you bring me a steak with the A1 medium rare, please? Thanks. If you're gonna serve seafood, bitch, give me a seafood boil, okay? Bring on the butter sauce. Oh, so beautiful. I just, it's almost too beautiful to eat. Did she tell your ass not to take a picture? I kind of want him to. Like you? Yeah, kind of. Tyler, you're the customer. You're Paying him to serve you doesn't really matter whether he likes you or not. Thoughts. I'm really feeling this is quite. It's half great. It's very moments. Flavors are there. It's very clean. It's very um. Thalassic. Thalassic. Oceanic. Thalassa was the pineal spirit. Thalassa and Ponto. Girl. Okay. How is it? Mm. It's good. You can't just say good for the show. You have to. You have to embellish. Oh my God, but Cornell is not brain surgery. I know. Okay, okay it's so a goddamn it. travel food show. Yeah. yeah, so so pitch it to me. Okay, so we go to Italy, right? Mm -hmm. They shoot me in Capri pants on a pet still green Vespa driving around and get to some Giuseppe's farm with cheese. Put the same way as you, bro. I'm not feeling the speech. And I close my eyes, fake an orgasm, and then off to South Africa, and then I maybe talk about how racism is not so cool, and bingo bongo. Anytime. That's what you're gonna pitch with three streaming services. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. That's a disaster. I mean, I've had shellfish just as good with my chef at home, Ricardo. You know, Ricardo is amazing. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, whatever, at least we can say we've been here, right? Ooh, you say it's but taking names and writing them down, bitch. You're doing the wrong thing in this dinner and they hear you. Oh, you was talking about your other chef. Okay, you're gonna get you. I saw Harriet De Laurentiis the other day. No. No one's here. You know, Harry. Bitch, they seem all breach and unhappy, honey. I appreciate the ASMR. Bread has existed in some form for over 12,000 years. Ancient Greek peasants dipped their stale, measly bread in wine for breakfast. And how did Jesus teach us to pray, if not to beg, for our daily bread? But you, my dear guests, are not the common man. And so tonight, you get no bread. Bitch, I'm pissed. I want a little piece of bread to dip in any kind of sauce, to sop anything up. I want a little piece of bread. What are you talking about? Two stars! What? It's gotta be a bit. Are you fucking serious? In this spirit, See, this where's the bread? The bread you will not be eating tonight was made from a heritage meat called Red Fife. And bitch, you had the nerve to tell me what the bread that I'm not eating is made of? Point two star. Though I will say, this emulsion does look slightly split. Can you show play with y'all hoes that's criticizing his food and got some fleet thing? The way he weaves in historical allegories, I mean, the game is trying to guess what the overarching theme of the entire meal is going to be. You won't know until the end. Wait, you, you like this? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. 
basically insulting you. Literally. Trust me, he's telling a story. That's what makes his food so exciting. He's not just a chef. He's this just is just not food. And You're licking sauce off a wooden cabinet. Miss Bloom, here is another broken emotion. Oh, is everything to your liking, sir? Oh, uh, well, actually, no. I mean, look, the food's great, and we totally get all the conceptual stuff, but could we please get a little bread? Bitch, can I get a steak? No. <laughs> no. I didn't want to pull this card, but you know who we are, right? Yes. You know, we work with Doug Barrick, right? No, you work for Mr. Barrick. You <laughs> said four, bitch. You're not the boss. Please. We won't tell a soul lady. Yeah, I promise, okay? Yeah. Um, she is not gonna go against this chef, honey. You're not getting no, bread. Yes. That'll be all, though. Thanks. May I? Uh, you don't have to do it, okay? You'll eat less than you desire and more than you deserve. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I would have had to get on the ferry. It hit it yeah. because I don't have time. No, this is already going yeah, fast. Right. This is great stuff. I'm like, I'm gonna beat it. That's why you sit your ass down. And that's why I know you're from. You're that damn zombie no. and that damn warm body. And they call or some shit. I don't fucking know. There is no food. No, this is food. So, um, you want more food to come? I want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that. So. Girl, <laughs> we would be more full so eating air, honey. Well, thank you for your concern, but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. Period, you, man. Thank you. All right, that was humiliating. Humiliating? Yeah. Tyler, the guy's a prick. A big one, honey. Who is this old bitch? Like, this is the weirdest shit I've ever seen, bitch. I would have been trying to leave early. Like, family emergency me. Call me and act like some shit going on so I can get the fuck up out of here. She's staring again. Why do we know her? We don't. Really? It does look like Claire. Why oh, so they're not she her doesn't. parents, but... You don't think so? She's nothing like her, Claire. She might be, though. Cause who the fuck is Claire? Next course is called Memory. So let me tell you a memory of mine. When I was growing up, a child in Waterloo, Iowa, Tuesday was taco night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> taco Tuesday. This is my mother. Okay. See, she's rather drunk. She's hungry, B. That's what she is. She's hungry. We all are. My father came home quite drunk. My mother grew angry and screamed at it, at which point he proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. Do we need to know the story? Stop. I didn't. Make it, I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. You remember that, mother, don't you? I suppose I should have stabbed him in the throat that evening. But we're not so smart when we're young. Girl, you should have kept that to yourself. Oh. But at least we get a chicken thigh. Because, baby, the chick, the thigh is the best part of the chicken. So, thigh down, thigh, wing, leg, breast. The thigh is that girl. Our tortillas made with heirloom mass. One of Hawthorne's signature dishes. It's uh, what you once said. Put you on the map. Put me on the map. Precisely what map would that be? I wonder. Because we're always innovating and we fear irrelevance. An update to a classic. The images Shame. on the tortillas have been made using a laser engraving machine. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. Bitch, at least you gave us some ass so much for this time. Bitch, damn. There are restaurants that I reviewed that all closed. Which, what are these? Well, these are taco things for the tacos. No. The pictures, they're, they're all of us. They put a significant memory yes. on every tortilla. Tyler, is that you? Yeah, they're on me from tonight taking fucking photos. Oh! <sighs> Jesus Christ. Got you, bitch. He hates me. 
God damn it. I didn't, I didn't think you'd really mind, but should I apologize? apologize. They told you not to. What? The fuck? Oh, that's... <laughs> what? Calling Dr. Sunshine. Dumb part, bad script. Fun shoot, though. Hmm. Hey, um, can, I, can I put the fuck? These? How do I get these? Who? Cool. It's not good. Y'all uh, stealing it? Are you embezzling? Embezzle? What the hell are these? These are tortillas. So what, what are these? These are tortillas, which contain Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. Ooh! She just cleared them! Oh, yeah, this place close by the morning, you understand? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Enjoy. This is you. Baby, that is not playing. Who is that woman? Uh oh. Uh oh. The tortillas is spilling the tea. Some sort of stupid joke. It's a fucking taco, okay? Can't hurt you. Yeah, a fucking taco that might hold up in court. If they try to turn us in, right? Just if they turn us in, they'd be turning back again. It's always fine. Right? Okay, I, hope I have to make this right somehow. Bitch, yours is the least threatening. You only took photos of the Excuse food, bitch. Everybody sir, else got scandals and teetation and liation and money laundering going on. You're not sending shit back to this kitchen. You're a child. You thank them for letting you in the door. Why did you just call me? I called you a child. You're fucking acting like Tyler, no, you cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because of Ding Dong. I'm the one who's paying, so maybe shut up and eat. Girl, who do you think you're talking to? Oh, my God. This is incredible. You have to try this. I will keep the taco down your throat. Miss Mills. Very bad. How can I assist you? Just looking for the ladies' room. Right this way. What's behind that silver door? Something very special. I ain't trusting this hell right here. Hey girl, you should have shaked him while you was at that table. I wouldn't have got up, bitch. I would have made a scene. Don't play with me, bitch. You should be motherfucking paying. That's the least you could do. It's pay for dinner. That ain't even motherfucking dinner. All these motherfucking hors d'oeuvres and shit, bitch. I'm hungry. No, you can't. Oh, you shouldn't be in here. I'd like to know specifically what it was about the last course that you did not enjoy. You've barely eaten the food. Why? Why do you care? I take my work very seriously and you're not eating. Baby, you ain't served me that nothing. Me. That's why I ate. Because what have you given me? Nothing. Because I'm just not very hungry. I told you who I am. I'm Julian Slowick and I'm the chef here. Now, who are you? I'll ask again. Who are you? Bitch, who are you? So where are you from, Uncle? I'm from Grand Island, Nebraska. You want the address for Mills Trailer Park, you asshole? You shouldn't be here tonight. Please get the fuck out of my way. Hey, me. I'm I'm confused as to why is he so intense with her? Why shouldn't she be here? What's behind the silver door? Why did he come in the restroom? Let me know these things. Now you can see from across the room. Yeah. We're ready for our next course. Excuse me. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Would you just let me finish? Uh -oh. Is that okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please meet sous chef Jeremy Loud. Jeremy created the shit. next dish. It's called The Mess. Jeremy is talented. He's good. He's very good. But he's not great. He'll never be great. He desperately wants my prestige, my job, my talent. He aspires Ooh, to Jeremy, be. Oh, Jeremy, honey, you should find another job, knowledge. baby. Your boss is putting you down correct. in front of everyone. Like mine, his life is it's pressure pressure to put out the best food in the world and even when all goes right and the food is perfect there is no way to avoid the mess the mess you make of your life of your body of your sanity by giving everything you have to pleasing people do you like this life this life that you dreamed about 
No, Chef. Who? You want my life. Not my position in my town. My life. No, Chef. But why the fuck are you there, Jeremy? Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth course. Sous Chef Jeremy's The Mess. What the fuck? I didn't see that coming. Did you act like it's funny? That's not funny. This is part of the show. This is part of the show. This is what you're paying for. Bitch, Jeremy better get up and show me it's a part of the show, bitch. And that means, uh-uh. Is he dead? It's like a squib or like a pack. I see them using it. Is this real? No, this, this is just theater. Friend. No, the fuck is not just theater, theater, bitch. Part of the menu. Part of my ass? No! I'm ready to go! Did I tell y'all this is why I drive everywhere now? Even to the island, bitch, I'm driving. I'm driving. Eat. Bitch, I'm gonna go to A real fast, too. Tyler, what the hell is going on? Here we have a biodynamic. This nigga acting like it's all normal. Like, he acting like he's not freaked out at all. Mr. Libra? We're leaving. Is something wrong? We're leaving. Okay. Yeah. 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 There is no boat to leave on. Then I'll call a helicopter. That would be very difficult without phone service. Move. Y'all gonna turn off the phone thing? And y'all not trying to let us go? With which hand will you handle this, left or right? What the fuck are you saying? Shall we choose? Choose what? Very well, left hand. Ring finger. Oh, they not gonna cut this man. Oh, what the fuck? And this nigga just ain't like it's normal. What's going on? Please sit. Not 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 Bitch, of course you don't know this nigga. Your husband's ring mad at you? <laughs> I honestly think that this whole thing is just for our benefit. That's why he texted me. This is incredible. I'm acting as astonishing. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, bitch, like, you can't tell real from the fake. Why are you doing this? You're just simply wrong. What are you talking about? Who are you? My name is Marco. I've served many Marcos. You're not a Marco. This menu, this guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned, and you are not a part of that plan. In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us, or with them. What? And then you'll let me live? Let you live? No. Of course not. And that'd ruin the menu. We're all gonna die tonight. We're gonna die? Yes, chef! No, chef! We're so gonna go home! I don't wanna die tonight! Die either way. It's arbitrary. Yeah, so bitch, why don't you worry about who I am? Bitch, if you gonna kill me, then bitch, try to kill me. Because if you're not gonna kill me, bitch, because I'm not going down that easy. Our menu is 15 minutes. How long do you have to decide? In the meantime, please return to your seat. The next dish is exquisite. Lady in five. Yes, yes sir. I love you all. We, we love you too, sir. The undying loyalty what was it? that is veg. going on right now. Protein or veg? Damn it. It's not fucking fair. Why do you get a kitchen course? Smoke all day. Can't what the fuck, fuck is wrong with him? Why is he acting like ain't nothing fucking wrong? Hey guys, we gotta do something, man. We can't be cowards. This worked in a movie that did call the assault. When they bring the knives and force, we just start the kitchen. You okay? think we have better man skills than that? What other choice do we have? He's in the morning for real. You should've knew that wasn't gonna fucking work, bitch. This, this clap is going to give me every time, I swear. Before we continue, are there any questions about me or Hawthorne? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck is this going? What the fuck is going on? And why the fuck am I here? Uh, I, I think I speak for everybody here when I say that uh, 
We, we want to know. What the fuck is this happening, man? Think of yourselves as ingredients in a degustation concept. A tasting concept, figuratively speaking. But none of this should be a surprise to most of you. Miss Bloom. What do you mean? William, if I may, knows the damage she has done to so many livelihoods. No, 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 no. no. Ha hang on. Chill. But you enable her, Phil. You buttress. Oh, you subtle. More broken emotion, madam. You oh, he oh, bring her more than she. Me. Ten minutes, this now. My husband needs to go to the hospital. I'm, I'm fine. Just let my wife go. My, my loyal regulars. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? I don't know. Six or seven. Eleven. Eleven times. So Most why? people consider themselves blessed if they eat here only once. Mr. Lieberman, kindly name one dish you ate the last time you were here. Eleven times you take the boat out here where we introduce every dish, every single time. We tell you exactly what we're feeding you. You mad because you don't remember what the fuck you ate? Cod. Cod? It wasn't cod, you donkey. It was halibut. <coughs> Rare fucking spotted halibut. What does it matter? It matters to the halibut, Mrs. Liebrand, and to the artist whose work turns to shit inside your gut. Price what the fuck is And I've been fooled in trying to satisfy people who could never be satisfied. You say it's your restaurant, but if we're all just being honest tonight, it's not. You're right. Doug Merrick is my angel investor. He owns this island and this restaurant. Since Hawthorne is my entire life, I would have to say that Doug Merrick owns me, except now things are a little more complicated, and I own Doug Merrick. What the fuck? Oh shit! How do we stop this, man? No. Okay, just please just make it stop. Just, just fucking tell us how to stop this. We'll stop it, okay? You can't stop. Oh. He kept you open through COVID. Yes, you did. When you questioned my menu, you would even request substitutions, despite the fact that there are no substitutions. Bitch, you mad because people don't care for your menu? That's just like Gordon Ramsay's times a thousand. What the fuck? Yeah. And there you go. Do you hear that silence? Listen, can you hear it? That silence means I'm free. I'm pissed and confused. Chef will speak with you now in his office. And this bitch is just like willingly going. Like, bitch, no, I'm not going over Your there. Man, you've made your decision. I have. What have you decided? You were right. I shouldn't be here. All of this is is not meant for me. Bitch, right. It's not meant for me. I need to go. I didn't mean to be here. I wasn't asked to be here. I just showed up here, you know, by happenstance. You know, so I made a mistake. With the shit shovelers. You thought I couldn't tell? Well, I know a fellow service industry worker when I see one. Mr. Liebrand. How do you know him? You've been eyeing him all evening. Oh, I think you know. She a hoe. So he paid for an experience. You don't rattle easily, so... How did he rattle you? He told me to agree with everything he said and continue eye contact while he jerked off. Not See? really. What rattled me is that he told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. So he's a romantic. He a pedophile, oh, bitch. Do you enjoy providing your services? Yes. Quite. I used to. Do you enjoy providing yours? Oh, I used to. she's a liberator, honey. She said, yeah. I haven't I desired used to. to cook for someone in ages. One does miss that feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, for our next course, let us take the evening air. Moe Green. Nothing to be frightened of. There's plenty to be frightened of. Thank you. I promise. I'm scared. What? Get I'm scared. Why the fuck you gonna pretend? It's okay. No, we're gonna die today. Our next course will be presented by sous chef you are going Catherine to die. Keller. Three years ago. Julian Sloak tried to fuck me. I refused his advances. A week later, he tried again. And again, I refused. But he didn't fire me. 
He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye or speak directly to me for eight months. He can do that because he's the star. What the fuck? Our next course is called Man's Folly. No. <laughs> These bitches are fucking nuts, bitch. They're missing a few, bitch. And I'm not even being funny, like, they're missing fun. For male diners, we now offer you the chance to escape. You'll be given a 45 second head start, at which point members of my staff will try and catch you. If they do catch okay, 45 seconds starts now. I started running, bitch, and didn't even hear the full rule. No. If they do catch me, what? Bitch, if they do catch me, I win. I get to go home. If they do catch me, they get to me in the ass. If they do catch me, they get to kill me. If they do catch me, bitch, I'm just going to eat some more dinner. What's going on if they catch me? Yeah, you sitting here trying to watch him and learn him, bitch. Get your ass on. Security driving me inside. Let's get your Man's folly. No. No, ma'am. See, it's already getting weird. This is fantastic. The tartness, it's rich and yet it's clean. It's delicious. Why is she giving Lou Ann from New York Housewives, bitch? Um, it's it's um, it's so good. You know, it's it's the emoji for me. Not the emoji? <laughs> I wouldn't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, get on the boat. Oh no, so, shit. Get the fuck out. You know my husband. Oh, he was her John. Yeah. I do. Period, bitch. Yeah, I do. I know your name. And you know I know him. Tell us. Are we all really dying tonight? It doesn't work if you live. What doesn't work? The menu. It needs an ending that. Ties everything together conceptually. Bitch, please. Just Ain't nail me or tie anything up conceptually to kill me. Oh, everyone dying was my pitch, actually. So, bitch, we should beat your ass. Yeah, that's what I was saying to me. Part of the plot. Part of the plot. Oh! Part of the plot. 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 Not that you guys give a single flying fuck, but my name is not Margo. It's Aaron. Okay, so when you said your name wasn't motherfucking Margo. <laughs> the grave, you killed it. Well, the only one got away. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking failure. It's okay. I've been stealing money from you. <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing. No, I wrote a negative recommendation to Sony. I know you see me on it. <laughs> So, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Y'all just doing each other wrong. Uh oh. Yeah, bitch, you. Breaking all the rules tonight. Tell me why you're here. I wanted to experience your food, Chef. What were you told ahead of time? You told me it would be the greatest menu ever created. Right, and? 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 And what? That everyone would die. So, you knew, bitch? Not the young woman here tonight. What happened to her? See, I knew that was some sneaky ass shit. So you brought Margo. Why? That's uh, just because you don't offer scenes for her. One. So you hired her knowing she died. Oh, wow. <laughs> Period, bitch. Be his motherfucking ass. Because, bitch, why would you do that? I didn't do nothing to you to get over here and ready to die, bitch. For the eight months I've corresponded with you. I gave you, Tyler, access to our world. Why do you think I'd do this? You wanted me here to prevent You said I know a lot about food. That's right. You're not like the others, are you? You, you know what a Paco Jet is? Yeah. And the, you, you knew what the yeah. burger one was. <laughs> I could <laughs> taste it. <laughs> that impressed me. Yeah, yeah. I'm blowing this nigga, like really. I knew some weird <laughs> shit was going on with him because he didn't, he wasn't flinching at shit. Oh, shit. 
I just feel like this ain't gonna work for him. Tyler is gonna demonstrate his culinary expertise. You better knock it out of the park, or bitch, your block gonna be knocked off. That's all I have to say. Uh -oh. Shit, would you like some shit? Would you like some shit, bitch? Who gonna put some shit in this? This don't be amazing. This is a new, uh, new dicey method. What's next? Uh, let's see. Butter, butter, leaks the shallots, sauteed in butter, protein, uh, lamb. lamb. This nigga don't even know what he doing. Uh, uh, this nigga do not know what he doing. He's gonna die because he lied about all that shit that he supposedly knew. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, I think it's done, Chef. You think it's done? You sure? Mm -hmm. You think it's done? Bitch, that meat is pink. You ain't even seasoning it. Wow. It's actually quite bad. Duh, bitch. Undercooked lamb and edible shallot butter sauce on the lack of cohesion. Ah! Read him in the description of his dish. Is this how he recruits? Please don't tell me he's gonna make him do some shit to fuck himself up. Now you're free to come with me. And she's so willing to go every time. Like, she don't even know this nigga or what's going on, bitch. I'm not coming with you. There's only one more savory course left in our menu. That means we must prepare for dessert. Dessert requires a large barrel that is supposed to be there in the corner. <laughs> do you see a barrel? No, no, I do not. Neither do I. That is because my negligent colleague, Elsa, forgot to assign someone to bring. So, I'll go you, and we'll fetch the barrel instead. Why is that gonna be so much work here? Chef, perhaps one of us. Margot is now one of us, Elsa. Right, Margot? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. Chef. <laughs> bitch, yes. you feel like you gotta do what this nigga say? I mean, I guess, because he's killing bitches, so I probably would go along with it too. Yes, yeah. Go. Now he went there and killed him fucking self, bitch. And I guess she protected because she's one of them now. Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chef. Do you want to know why you're being Sure. I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. It was a Sunday. My one day off in months. And I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine alone in the cinema. But look, I, I, I didn't direct it, I just acted. The memory right. of your face in that film. Seeing you again now. You are petty as fuck. Why are you so petty? He was just an actor in the movie. What about her? What school did you go to? Brown. Student loans? I'm sorry, you're dying. God damn, she ain't even doing this. Bitch, what's up with that? No one is allowed inside Chef's house. Do you think you're special? No, bitch. You've disobeyed this rule. I take care of the customers so that chef can take care of the menu. You've been a nuisance since you have arrived. If you don't mind me asking, though, why would you die for him? You will not replace me. Trust me, I have no. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Bitch, you better fight back. This thing is trying to end you. Bitch, be my ass. Oh, uh uh, see. Period. Not that bitch out. Tell me. Tell me about the barrel. Oh. oh my God. She said he didn't tell her about the barrel. So bitch, she just wanted some reason to fuck her up. Nobody's wondering why this bitch all beat up, bad and bruised. I am a monster. No, was a monster. And a whore. But tonight everything I'm doing is pure egoless. 
I can carry a cast iron from a hot oven to your table with no protection. Oh my gosh. As Dr. King said, we know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. As a white man, he did quote Martin Luther King, but... Alright, I see you found our radio. Yeah, she did. She's trying to get up out of here, bitch. You're trying to make it look like everything normal. You'll be tempted to ask him for help. To plead even. This would be unwise. He cannot help you. Ask yourselves two things. One, if you really want to be responsible for the death of an innocent man. And two, ask yourself this entire evening. Why didn't you all try harder to fight back? Bitch. Honestly. I'm going to ask him for help. And then if y'all kill him, we going to fight. Because the boat's right there. I got a report of disturbance. What kind of a disturbance? A violent one. Are you the owner? I'm the executive chef. Right you don't see this nigga's bruises and all of this shit, like... Did anybody here call in a distress over the short way tonight? Niggas are beaten and battered, and you can't tell. I'm not in the habit of serving our guests short wave radios with their meals. <laughs> What kind of coast guard are you? You can't read the room. Hey, uh, are you? Yes, 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 I, I am. Ah, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Do you like his autograph? Uh, I don't want to bother you. Oh, no, it wouldn't be a bother. I just, I don't, I don't have a... No, we have a plan. Oh, Let's do Lord, it. it's a trap. Please don't write nothing on that paper that's going to get you in trouble, girl. You're going to die, honey. You're going to die. My wife and I, we love that, um, oh, what's it called? The one where uh, you play the surgeon. Calling Dr. Sunshine. Yeah. Oh, you see, go. you're doing too much writing for an autograph. Girl, you're so star starstruck. You can't tell what's going on. Uh -oh. Come on, clearly, there's, there's a misunderstanding. Help us. Yes, you're <laughs> Oh, shit. Y'all finna get this man killed. He done told y'all. He finna kill y'all. And his back against the glass, bitch, he's gonna die. Everyone! Move, bitch, it's okay, just, yeah! On your knees with your hands over your head, now. Yeah. Oh, you! Stay <laughs> Nobody move. Better part. <laughs> oh, no. See, bitch, she told you you was gonna regret it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? He told you I was gonna regret it. Are you fucking kidding me? Good job. Oh, I'm fucking dead, bro. You, Margo from Nebraska, you betrayed our sacred bond of trust. I was wrong on you. You're an eater. You're a taker. Oh, so busy now, you're on the chopping block. Final course, splitting in five. Yes, sir! <laughs> I just want to know what the objective is. Like, where are we going with this? Why gather all these people up? Because you have a personal vendetta. Uh-oh. I don't like your food. What did you say? I said, I don't like your food, and I would like to send it back. Uh-oh. What about my food is not to your liking? You've taken the joy out of eating. Every dish you've served tonight has been some intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. When I eat your food, it tastes like it was made with no love. I agree. Well, this is really still hungry. We always cook with Everyone knows love is the most important ingredient. Then you're kidding yourself. You cook with obsession, not love. You're a chef. Your single purpose on this earth is to serve people food that they might actually like, and you have failed. You failed, and you've bored me. <laughs> the worst part is, I'm still fucking hungry. Exactly, bitch! You're still hungry? I'm hungry, yes! I'm hungry! What are you hungry for? You know what I'd really like? A cheeseburger. No. We can do a cheeseburger. A real cheeseburger. Not some fancy deconstructed apple bullshit. A real cheeseburger. I'll make you feel as if you're eating the first cheeseburger you ever ate. The cheap one your parents could barely afford. <laughs> Show me. How do you like it? Medium. American cheese. How much will that send me back? $9.95. I come with fries. Crinkle cup or julienne. Please tell me you come with fries. 
December, but I'm doing this on you. And I love a crinkle cut fry, bitch. It look good on this egg, man. Like, it's giving, it's giving Krabby Patty. <laughs> Is it something in the cheeseburger? Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. Can I get the rest to go? One moment, please. One cheeseburger to go. Thank you for dining at Hawthorne. Thank you for everything. What the fuck? So she's gonna let her go? Bitch, you ain't know them. Get the step, man. Before our final course, there is the matter of the bill. So, bitch, you just let her go. Everybody else just sitting in there because they didn't say anything about not liking the food? What's going on? Girl, please don't stop, honey. You don't know none of these bitches. It wasn't even your fault that she was there. Thank you for dining with us tonight. You represent the ruin of my art and my life. Now you get to be a part of it. What the fuck? Is this nacho? Bitch, I already hate sour cream and then you don't put it on the floor and on the table and all the surfaces. S'mores? But is that cheese? Are they about to set bitches on fire? Are they about to set bitches on fire? Now our final dessert course is a playful twist on the comfort food classic. The s'more, it's everything wrong with us, and yet we associate it with innocence. I mean, I don't like that. s'mores. There's too much fucking marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows. I guess the bitch, what is you doing over there? Are you finna save everybody, or is he gonna see these bitches on fire? You must embrace the flame. I'm not embracing them flame. Yeah, girl, go on and save them, because they don't deserve it. This bitch is crazy. Or she's just trying to get the fuck up out of there, because I don't blame you for that either. The mama done drunk her damn self to KO. Bitch, y'all just sitting there. You ain't even got to take this, girl. I hope you know how to drive a boat. And I'm not talking about Megan Thee Stallion, okay? So y'all all just brainwash and love the chef. Y'all gonna see me and get roasted? I mean, I guess this bitch, at least she got her cheeseburger, like, and that's all I wanted the whole night was a good meal, and bitch, a cheeseburger and some crinkle cut fries is a good one, bitch. Uh-uh. What's going on? God damn, it ended like that, too? But, I mean, I don't blame her. I don't know if I missed something. I honestly, I seriously don't understand what the fuck the point of the cheeseburger thing was. Y'all can call me a dumb bitch in the comments if y'all get all these metaphors and shit because I really don't understand what the fuck happened for her to be the only one to escape. All I know is, is that if I was in one of them other bitches, I'd be right up out the door with her, which as soon as I saw a boat on the dock, like y'all would have to get me out. Like I can't do this. First of all, bitch, I'm still hungry. You ain't serving me shit, and then you charging me all this money. And then you killing bitches for no reason. So, girl, bye. I gotta go. Get me on the boat. We're up out of here. But that was the menu. It was interesting. I, I, I enjoyed it. I just don't know what the fuck happened at the end. I'll probably watch some videos later tonight to know what the fuck happened and what was going on. But I enjoyed the movie. Funny as fuck. The characters, yeah. I knew she was a hooker from the jump, but you ain't hear that from me. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys feel about this movie. What's your thoughts? I always talk back. Comment, like, and subscribe. All of those good things. And I will see you girls next time. Bye-bye.